I don't want this series to be like other building series where you stare at a talking head for like 10 minutes uh, interspersed with some occasional time lapses and stuff like that. No, this is going to be way more than that. It's also a lot different than most other building series because we're in modded Minecraft. And I don't really think that, uh, that anyone's done a modded Minecraft building series before. Or at least no one's done it the way that we're going to do it with the collection of mods that I've put together that not only add new building blocks and building features, but also more animals, more weather and, and environmental effects, and just a lot of things that come together to create a general atmosphere that you can't get from vanilla Minecraft. When I really, really try and like put a huge amount of effort into it, I can, uh, I can usually find something from my imagination that's cool to build. But it usually ends up not being as good as when I recreate something that already exists, which is why, to me, it makes more sense to uh, use already existing architecture in the real world as a basis for our building projects. It also gives us the goal of trying to recreate something that exists in real life as exactly as possible in Minecraft and seeing how close we can come to that. Having recently visited Boston, I noticed that there was a lot of very interesting architecture when I was there, and I thought that it could translate nicely into modded Minecraft, which is why I selected some Boston brownstones for our first building project in this series. What we'll be building could look something like what I have here as an example. I have one house plus a street and a park, as you can see, complete with trees, birds, a few uh, animals. Although the animals do seem to be fleeing the park now. Now's probably a good time to show off some of the environmental features that we have at our disposal. For one thing, we can change the weather to be whatever we want. We could have rain, we could have high wind, which makes the leaves blow around and look really cool. Creates a vortex up in the sky. We could also have hail if we want to. And of course, we can have a tornado, but we don't want our frog to get uh, carried away, so we're gonna turn that off real fast. But as you can see, we can have any type of weather that we want, just with our weather obelisk here. I also have the ability to change the biome type of any chunk that I'm in at any time. As you can see, right now, we are in a jungle hills, and you can see that the leaves change, the grass color changes, and I can change it back at any time. And I can do that for any chunk, and any biome in the game. In addition to changing the weather and the biome type, I can also switch the season just with one simple command. To so, uh, any season I want, you can see we are now in fall. And everything is all orange and fall looking. And just like that, I can change it back to summer. We obviously can change it to spring and winter as well. As I'm sure you can see now, we have endless environmental effects that we can apply to our builds to enhance their atmosphere beyond what we could normally with just simple blocks. If you guys think you're going to enjoy this series, then be sure to drop a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. Also, be sure to comment down below what suggestions you have for future places that we could recreate in Minecraft. We're trying to do kind of a history theme. It doesn't have to be history, but something that exists in real life. But now, with that out of the way, let us begin our build by creating a portal out of this lobby area to our actual build site. So these here are the four houses that I've selected for us to build. They're uh, bordering the Bunker Hill Monument in Boston, which is like a, uh, a big park area on a hill commemorating a old battle from the Revolutionary War, I believe. And I was walking around here not too long ago when I visited, and these houses really struck me as being very interesting and cool. They're all like um, different brick types as well, so there's a lot of variation. And I think that they're going to be very cool to try to replicate. We're basically not going to try to mess with the scale or anything if possible. Obviously, some things will have to be different just because it's a block game. But we're going to try to translate it as best as we can into Minecraft. I'm going to be doing the sidewalk in addition to part of the road. But the interior will probably be left to a different video. I'll talk more about that uh, when we're all done building what we're going to build today. I think I'm going to start with the foundations as well because that will be the easiest uh, thing for me to build everything else off of. And yeah, I'm going to try not to interrupt the time lapse with like commentary or anything unless something super significant happens. But yeah, let's get started.
And there we have it for today's video. And you're probably thinking, well, Sweet, if you haven't finished the back or the roof or the interior or anything like that, and that's true, we haven't done that in this video. That's because, well, if I were to do all that, this would be a really long video. But um, on the bright side, if you guys do enjoy this video, I'll do a second video on this build, a part two where we build the backsides of the buildings and stuff, in addition to full interior so that the light emanating from the windows at nighttime is not just light sources but his actual living rooms and kitchens dining rooms whatever whatever room we should have behind there if you enjoyed this video and you haven't already be sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button and turn on a notification so you can be notified when i upload or go live also be sure to join the discord server and follow me on twitter links to both down in the description that's where we're going to end this video today guys thanks for watching i've been Speve, and i'll see you in the next video or live stream bye <laughs>